all right so let me end off this one um at least and guys remember we are going to be put back to back because we have so much things to talk about so look out for all of these things we might even add a live based on how you guys receive this um so out of all the four that we have here united states mexico you um canada and costa rica which one of them you think more unlikely will fall off and uh, which which team would surprise you and get into that mix of the top four that's a good question it really does come down to transitioning like how well they're able to do so how and when when you're transitioning teams it's not necessarily for me it's not always about finding the young players that come in it's not you replace everyone who's 35 plus with someone who's 18 to 19 plus there's also players who can find form at, at if they're mid in entering their primes so can those players step in and maybe take off some of that pressure for players who are coming up so you have like Costa Rica Juice and Bennett you have your Brandon Aguilera's like but maybe there's other players who will gain form who can now complement those players as well versus looking totally at that U20 team and saying these players they're going to be the players who become the players for tomorrow um who do I think will fall off I mean the U.S is young so I don't expect them to drop off too much the question is will they reach their potential ceiling that that fan the u.s fans think and hope that they can reach so i still think they'll be in that category i can't discount mexico because mexico has a longevity they'll always be able to develop and find players that can come in and perform now will they be the same class as they were before that's left up to the side canada they're entering a stage where now they're looking at and saying are you they are now sitting in the number three spot for CONCACAF. They're not comfortable yet. And it's going to be, can they stay comfortable in that seat? Can they really establish themselves as number three in the region? And then I, I think for me, and it's nothing against that team, but I think Costa Rica is the team that I'm curious to see how they're able to transition. Um, I know that there are young players that can take up those roles, but the question is, will they transition them in at the right rates to give them the experience to come through? And it's not just the U20s. It's players who are young. You're 22-year-olds. You're 23-year-olds. Uh, talk, talk to Eddie. Talk to Eddie from like CRC Report. Right. Talk to him. He, he'll tell you about those players. But I think that team, based off of the setup, based off of the style of play, not to say that they can't maintain it, but – I wonder, every coach, every federation will hold on to a cycle, maybe one cycle too many. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how long will this Costa Rica squad hang on to this, their veterans in these next four years? And I think the quicker they are able to start to transition, I think it serves them better for the squad that they can build. But for the time being, I'm going to say Costa Rica, but it's a, it's not a, it's not, I'm not saying it with my chest. I'm saying it hesitantly i think costa rica might be the team that falls off when it comes to a team that jumps in i want to go off the page here just because i've interacted with them a lot I, i'm curious to see what a team like curacao can do um curacao before they changed the format they were the the, the teams that were going to be part of the hexagonal for qualifiers and then when they changed the format then they were beaten by Panama. Panama came in. Panama, I, I'm expecting good things. I'm expecting good things from El Salvador as well. But I think for a team that's outside of the teams, the top eight, I, I think Curacao might be that team that makes that leap, that starts knocking at the bottom of that top four and gets into the top eight, I think, comfortably as a top team in CONCACAF over these next four years. All right, for me, um, yes, out of the top four, that actually just made a World Cup, um, which is three play uh, teams naturally goes through. And this World Cup coming, uh, we're okay. going to pretty much have six teams, and then we are going to have a half spot, just the same. So we're just yeah. working on this old method, just to talk about the top four who will flip in. The top, the, fa the fifth place might still be, no, will still be in the World Cup, but we still want to know about the top four um, mm -hmm. in terms of quality, because that's going to go back 
to what it is uh, for the next four years. So yeah, that's what we're trying to work for. If not, yeah, I think it's gonna stay. It's gonna go back to to, to three and the one um, once the workup changes um, to a different location. Because even mm -hmm. if they do keep the forty-eight, they might give the next region the um, additional extra seats to sit, sit in. So we we don't yeah. know it's gonna work. So let we keep it at four. I would agree that Costa Rica might have that little problem because I think a lot of them uh, will have to actually. Um, um, retire soon you know a lot of them are very much older players and um i do see Cantureras and those guys coming through with the benits and aguilera and those guys and you do have um younger mid-range 20 something guys that can still stay but i still think they need yeah more to boost their squad i still think they need more to boost their squad um so i would go with um, costa rica there where i have a slight problem um i where i would say the person that should be jumping two spots up um i surprisingly um i think it's surprising even though i'm jamaican a lot of people would not expect me to choose jamaica but i think jamaica should be the one to take two steps up due to the fact that they have an icelandic coach now algorithm mm -hmm. um, organization and now um, you have players more committed from early and I expect him to get most of those things that weren't going good for them and he has time and his hands so that's why I would say um, Jamaica and I do see majority of the youths um, at a younger age so for instance Leon Bailey, Shamar Nicholson, even um, Ethan Pinnock um, is still at the right age mm -hmm. uh, and you have job, um, you have enough pieces coming in at the right enough age. So like how you have Costa Rica made it made the work up with Borges and those guys that are already 30 plus. Yeah. Do these guys are going to be on the 30 plus plus or, or, or list and not necessarily have to make it because you have younger kids coming in like Lati Badir and those guys that are 23 yeah. years old. So they do have even a transition piece in it. So they have a very, very big pool, maybe mm -hmm. one of the biggest pools um, in the entire um, um Conquer cough, but yet still, um, they just needed the right personnel to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think Jamaica might be that team to go up there, make the three steps and go up there. Me, I think you know, not not saying mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, I'm telling you the pieces. Uh, no, I'm just telling the pieces that's there and the personnel that came in. We know the JFF can make a lot of mistakes, and it, mm -hmm. everything goes to, to S. All right, so don't worry, people. I'm just giving you some information. That's all. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair. I, I think I think Jamaica is a fair statement. I mean, we've always said this, and that's Jamaica has access to talent not only at home but abroad that can really go through. I think for me, watching these teams is a good indication. Is probably going to be this Gold Cup coming up the next summer, right? Gain gain a feel for what they look. That'll be our first. For a lot of us, it'll be our first opportunity to see teams like Jamaica, Panama, El Salvador, and Honduras as they transition, getting ready for these next four years. And I think Jamaica can really put in a good first step depending on how they look. Um, I mean, they could certainly put themselves in the position like, like Canada did in a sense, where in 2019, where they, I mean, had a great group stage and then afterwards blew the game against Haiti. Um, they have to wear that. But you saw the pieces, you saw the signs of what this team could be potentially. So I wonder if maybe a Jamaica can do that. But again, I, I want to see more teams come out. I think the more of that middle class improves in CONCACAF, I think the better it creates for the Federation overall. Because then now when you have a solid glut of, of solid teams, then yeah, you can have top teams. But now, you know, every team, you can't look down and say, oh, we're playing this version of Jamaica or this version of uh, Honduras, this, this is an easy three, three in the love and we're good. No, I, I think I want to see more teams improve, but yeah, I think this gold cup coming up will be a good first glance at to what these teams could be. And then that'll let our imagination start to run a little bit wild when we start to say, okay, they did this. Maybe they're lacking. Maybe they're just lacking still a left back, or maybe they, if they have an attacking creative midfielder that really unlocks them. And then, especially when you look at Curacao and as well as Jamaica, then you start having the conversations versus if this is all they're missing, do you look overseas and say, hey, can we find that missing piece there? Or is it still in the country going? But yeah, this Gold Cup, I think, will be a good chance to take a look and see what these teams can be over these next four years. 
All right, so guys, um, this is one of the first versions um, of what we're, we're, we're coming out with. So thanks very much for another beautiful one. Um, guys, um, Africans, link will be in the description. Obviously, you can find him over here, but definitely you need to go over there, as what we said. We are uh, we are definitely on a, on a mission to grow Africans' channel, so make sure to go over there. The link is in the description, so smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. So thanks yet again, Africans. We will do it again um, the next time. Peace out. Indeed.